in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program known here on the internet. Some of y'all still call it the World Wide Web. However you call it, I am known as the mighty, 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 mm, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. Before I continue, I would like to give a shout out to a couple of Realities Temple viewers, a mother and a son. And mother and son, you know who you are. Son, your name is Quasim, like Hakeem, Quasim, or something like that. Excuse me if I pronounce your name wrong. You know what? I'm doing the best I can. But I am giving you a shout out. People know who you are. So thank you for listening to these uh, series of videos. You and your mother, I must appreciate it. And it is an honor, always an honor, that you give me a bit of your time. I would also like to say, before I continue, is that I really don't like using profanity, but this video, I might have to go that way a little bit, so parental discretion is advised. I might use a little profanity, I might sound a little vulgar, so I just want y'all to give you a warning before we really get into what we want to talk about this afternoon, this morning, this evening, whenever you got the opportunity to play this particular video. So, shout out to mother and son, and parental discretion is advised, okay? <laughs> oh, now, let us ease on down the road. Want to go with me? Here we go. Now, the topic that I've chosen for these few minutes is the hypocrisy, the self-righteous behavior of Tommy Sotomayor and those who follow this person, the arrogant, self-righteous, hypocritical behaviors of Tommy Sotomayor and those who follow him. Now, it is very funny to me that Tommy Sotomayor and all these people that follow his words And I will admit that many of the things that Tommy Sotomayor might say have some truth in it. But it is used so that you can accept the falsehood. It is truth mixed with falsehood. Somebody told me that Tommy also has a positive side. I can only see the negativity. I can only see the hate. I can only see the cussing, the profanity, the vileness, the disrespect. But I cannot see the positive message in what Tommy Sotomayor has to say. Now this is where I warn you where I might have to get a little profane because of the description or the descriptive nature of how I want I would like to word this 
You ever see a pile of shit? Do y'all know what manure is? Manure stink. Manure, a pile of shit, is something that you would like to avoid. However, there's a positive side of shit. There's a positive side of manure. We use manure. We use a pile of shit to put in the earth, cover it up so it can feed plants. Did you know that they use whale dung? I forgot the, the technical word, but it's whale shit. They use whale shit in perfume. So a lot of y'all running around smelling good because of whale shit. Whale manure. I forgot what the word for whale feces is, but you get my meaning. Plus, y'all like to hear people cuss anyway. Y'all like to hear people send these old filthy, vile, nasty, four-letter words. That's why you listen to Tommy. Because your, cause your mind is filthy anyway. You're nasty in the, in the head. There's no way you can listen to this man with his cussing and vile, profane nastiness. And you are not nasty and vile and filthy yourself. But you can find something positive in a pile of shit. But shit still stink, don't it? And what else do shit do? Shit, feces, manure, it attracts animals that thrive off filth. So it is good that we have a Tommy Sotomayor. Because he's a pile of shit. And he has attracted you like flies. And when you see flies and maggots. And animals that's attracted to shit. Then. Those animals. Are related to. That which is filthy. That which is vile. That which is nasty. That which you have to clean up. Nobody wants a pile of shit around them. You get a shovel and you shovel it away. You clean it up. So although Tommy Sotomayor has a positive side, he's still a pile of shit. And anybody that's attracted to that, you feed off of filth. You feed off shit. And all of you need to be shoveled up out of the house because it represents a filthy place. Flies. Breed and shit. And shit stink. But y'all think y'all shit don't stink. And you're running around talking about people. Self-righteous. Now you. And Tommy Sotomayor. People like you. You want to run around the internet. And you want to know something. I do give Tommy Sotomayor props. Because. He's bold enough to show his face. But the majority of the people that support and follow this piece of shit. <laughs> Y'all hide your face because you shame on yourself, really. You don't want nobody else to know that you think like this. That you think like shit. And you are a piece of shit, just like Tommy is. <laughs> That's why you hide your face. Pathetic, low self-esteem, trash. Now here you are. You can target a certain group of people. Why don't y'all target me? I can handle it. Most of those people that y'all talk about don't give a damn about you. You can talk about hat hat hooligans, weave wires, thugs. You can talk about those type of people all you want to. They don't give a damn about what y'all talking about. Period. But you're trying to paint a picture of black people. Like these few people. Represent the mentality. The mindset. And the behaviors of black people. And that's where the buck stops. Tommy gonna stop the buck. And I'm gonna stop y'all. Right there in your tracks. Because it's not happening. And who are you to judge? Who are any of you to judge anybody? It's, it's mind-boggling to me that y'all can judge, Tommy Sotomayor can judge, and, and, 
as soon as Tommy Sotomayor, as soon as y'all get judged, see some of y'all, that's the reason why you hide behind a picture. Because if we find out who and what you are, you don't want nobody to see your fault. Because ain't nobody running around here perfect. In religious teachings, it says, judge not, lest ye be judged. But we love to judge, folks. You judge me. You say I'm judging Tommy. I'm not judging Tommy at all. Whether you believe it or not, I'm not judging Tommy. Period. I'm just describing a behavior. Well, that's what Tommy doing. Tommy is not describing a behavior. Tommy is trying to profit from a behavior. This ministry is not filled up with videos trying to down somebody. I talk about Caucasian people. All my videos is not about Caucasian people. I talk about the upliftment of a people. Even the upliftment of the Caucasian people. If they listen, should they want or wish to listen? Some people benefit from evil. Some people benefit from racism. Some people benefit from sexism. They benefit from these things. So why would they want anything to change? Tommy Sotomayor benefits from hair hat. Ratchet behavior. In fact, he's a ratchet too. Y'all are ratchets too. You just think that you are better than somebody else. You exhibit the same type of behaviors. We're going to talk about that as we continue this short conversation. With your self-righteous, judgmental self. Y'all can talk about people. Let's say I am judging. Let's say I am talking about people. I can handle it. Bring it to me. You never heard me cry about somebody talking about me. Because I know what I am. There are those who have made death threats. And when I talked about the death threats, you still did not see me crying. But when somebody talks about Tommy Sotomayor, or if somebody writes something about you and you know that it's true, y'all get to crying and whining. And complaining and blocking because you don't want to you don't want to see that truth no more you don't want to hear that truth no more why are you talking about me if you can dish it out then you should be able to take it it's as simple as that it's as simple as that people but y'all can't judge not least ye be judged you can talk about people but you don't want to get talked about because you think that you are better and you're not. There would be no need for any religion if somebody was running around here perfect. If somebody running around here was, was righteous and holy, holier than thou. And we know y'all, none of y'all holier than thou. We're going to talk about that. You're pitiful. What it is, you suffer from low self-esteem. So you target a group of people so that you can feel better about yourself. You don't give a damn about them because if you gave a damn about them, you would be trying to help them instead of talking about them. I've never heard nobody that was sick and you get them well by beating them, by kicking their bed over, splashing water in their face, verbal harassment, Verbal abuse. That's what black woman bashing is. It's, it is abuse. And I did have the. The direct. Uh, the exact. Definition of what bashing was. Tommy Sotomayor. Said that we don't know what the word bashing means. Well clearly. He did not look up the. Definition of what bashing is. And when you look up the word bashing, it fits right into what Tommy Sotomayor and all you suckers be talking about, bashing. But then when the basher threw up their fist and get to punching you back, then 
bring y'all back up like the little sissies and the cowards that y'all really are. You ain't tough. Because if you was tough, and if you really understood what was going on, then you would deal with the perpetrator instead of the victim. Because all these hat hats, all these thugs, all these people that you talk about, including yourself, you are victims of a filthy, nasty, vile society that kidnapped our ancestors 400 years ago. And you've been living, copying, and behaving like an unnatural people. You're nothing but Africans and black people with the dark skin. But in your mind, you ain't nothing but a dark European. You're nothing but a Uncle Tom Ruckus. All of you, including myself. But since I understand that I have the Caucasian mind, since I understand that I am not myself, now I can control it. Now I understand what's going on. The thug and the ratchet, the the hair hat, all these people are lost. They deaf, dumb, and blind. They don't know. And clearly you don't know because you should teach them. You should be teaching them about what happened. You should be learning, reaching out your hand to them and explaining to them what has happened and what's going on. But clearly you don't even know. You want to look good in front of your masa. Masa, I ain't like them. That's all you want to be able to say. I ain't no hair hat. How do you love yourself? You said that a black woman that wear a weed or a black woman that do wear a weed or that do wear weaves, she don't love herself. But yet it's still you running around here chasing money, copying your masa. Thinking like your masa. You don't have to wear the weave. But your mentality shows that you are just as whitewashed as she is or he is. You are thug in a different way. You are hat hat hooligan in a different way. You ratchet in a different way. And when somebody like me show you how ratchet and filthy and nasty you are a piece of shit just like they are, then you get upset because you thought you was perfect. You thought ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nobody around here, including myself, perfect and don't have something wrong with them. So what make you better? What make you think you different? You want to show Masa how good you are. I don't want to be good for Masa. And that's what it's all about. Backyard Negroes. Dark Europeans, Uncle Ruckus, Uncle Tom, niggas, follow Tommy Sotomayor. I want to talk to Tommy Sotomayor. Silver, cordial. I ain't nobody. But he attacks people that are, would be considered less than whatever I am. Because they will cuss with him. They will get profane with him. And joke around with him. I'm not here to joke around with you. Tommy Sotomayor. I'm going to bring you the real truth. And if you do it in a civil cordial manner. You know you can't stand up to it. That's why you avoid the confrontation. You piece of shit. That attract flies. And the flies breathe in the shit. So it's good that we have a Tommy Sotomayor. Because he attract the flies. Y'all low life, pathetic, low self esteem pieces of shit. You need to try to down and degrade somebody else in order for you to feel good about yourself. Lusting for money. Because if you don't have any money, you have no self-worth. So you think if you buy you a car, you think if you buy you a pretty house, you think if you hang out with some celebrities, you think that you're still not a piece of shit, but you are. It's a fallacy. Ain't nothing changed. You're a piece of shit with a pretty suit on. 
You a piece of shit that drive a pretty car. You a piece of shit that live in a nice house and you got it all smelling like shit. <laughs> Woo! Man, you don't really often catch me in a mood like this, but that's why I said, <laughs> that's why I said parental discretion is advised. That's not, that's not my style. See, profane language, profane language, vulgar language, that's for the illiterate. Profanity is the language of those who are unable to communicate. They really cannot express what they want to say. So instead of trying to explain what they want to or wish to explain or they can't explain, they make up for that by saying some four-letter word. Tommy Sotomayor is a hurt person. He suffers from personal trauma. And he don't even understand it. That's why his, his conversation is filled with vulgarity, disrespect, because he's hurting inside. And all those who are attracted to the piece of shit, all of these people are sick. They hurting inside, but don't want to admit it. But now, if you come into this house, if you come into the house of Afro Synergy, if you come into the house of anybody with any kind of so-called black conscience, somebody who has accepted the reality and understand what has happened to the black man and woman for over 400 years, then we can give you some medicine to help you over your trauma so that you can no longer be sick and you can clean up the shit in your house and begin to live a righteous life. And your house smell good for a change because you got the manure out of the house, wiped it off your shoes from stepping in it. And use the manure for what it's better for. Open up the soil, put the manure in it, and grow you some tomato plants. Just don't sit around on the steps and smell like shit. Tommy Sotomayor is a good shit talker because he's a piece of shit. That's just the bottom line. Now, how can you judge? And you think that you are not going to be judged. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Now, here's a picture of our brother and hopefully our friend. <laughs> uh, Tommy so <laughs> Here's a picture of the celebrity seeker, the rich wannabe, the famous want to be, you know, that's what it's all about. I want to be rich. I want to be famous. What's that? What's that song? The Pussycat Cat Dolls had a song. I want to be rich. I want to be famous. This, this, this is what it's all about. But you are not getting your fame due to your so-called talent. You're getting your fame from trying to bash trying to degrade another person, another person who happens to be black. You're not getting famous because of your jokes. You're not getting famous because of nothing that you do. You're getting famous and you're getting fame and your reputation is built on the degradation and the mockery of another people. Your, your own people. If these people were Caucasian or Asian or anybody else, they would not support you. And Asians and Caucasian people, none of them, if you was talking about them, they would not support you. But for some reason, in your dumbass mind, for some reason, in your dumbass mind, you think black folks are supposed to sit around and we're supposed to say, wow, Tommy, that's the truth. Yeah, those of, those of us who don't mind stepping in shit, 
they support you. But those of us who have a little understanding, not going to tolerate it, just like if you was talking about Caucasian people, or Asians, or Native Americans, or even Africans, they're not going to tolerate that kind of stuff, talking about them. Because I understand if you talk about these black people, you really talking about me. But you such an Uncle Tom, you such an Uncle Ruckus, you so dead in your mind, you don't understand that. Because you still a nigga. And when you finish getting your money, when you finish getting paid, that's what they call you, a dumb ass nigga. And that's a fact. Now, how did I get off talking about Tommy like that when I'm looking at this sister? Man, let me tell you something. I'm looking at this sister right here, Elise Neal. He likes to brag. I talked to Elise Neal. I know Elise Neal. That's fine. I remember when Elise Neal, she first appeared on, I believe it was Star Search in the 80s or it was early 90s. I have... I have the tape somewhere, because when I seen the woman, I was like, whoo, that's my kind of woman, Elise Neal. She was part of some type of dance troupe, and she was a video vixen, video dancer in the 90s. I was happy when she went to acting, maturing in her career. I love me some Elise Neal. And Elise Neal can wear a weed, Elise Neal can do whatever I would if I was her man I would tell her and since I am a waking person I would say sister I would talk to her nice about the weed I would talk to her nice about bleaching your skin I would talk to awaken I would not beat her and clearly Tommy Sotomayor is not talking bad to Elise Neal this sister from Memphis, Tennessee. Wonderful dancer. And I was listening to a uh, a video from Elise Neal. And she's not done. She understands about her blackness. She's not done. She understands about the plight of black people. But you, when you are an entertainer, when you are in that world, there's only, only so far that you can speak. And you got to be quiet because she understands that Caucasian people, pink, pink Jewish people, Caucasian Jews, control the entertainment industry. And if, you, and if you talk too bold, if you show that you know too much, you might not get any work. So I understand, Sister Elise, you can only speak to a certain point. But we do know that you know. But here's a picture. Of my beautiful sister. Oh man. I need to stop this video. I, maybe I need to be friends with Tommy. So I can get that telephone number. <laughs> Woo. Because Tommy Sotomayor. He knows Elise Neal. And man. I, and I love me some Elise Neal. But. From Memphis, Tennessee. But. Now. How come. We're looking at. This is a picture of. Tommy Sotomayor. I really, I'm trying to block him out. <laughs> I'm concentrating on Sister Elise. But Sister Elise, she's not no blonde. We know she's not a blonde. There's no black American women that we know of is a natural blonde, but clearly she has some blonde hair. Now, either she colored her hair blonde, or either she had weave tracks. But Tommy Sotomayor, Right there, skinning and grinning. And I can guarantee you, he ain't saying a word. She might even have bleached her skin a little bit. She probably even talk a little ghetto. But there's Tommy Sotomayor. Skinning and grinning. What makes Elise Neal different from any ratchet, any hood rat and all this other stuff that you... Uh, She's a black woman, so she got to be a black bitch, too. And I can I can guarantee you, if she said something to him that he don't like, or maybe she stopped returning his telephone calls or whatever, don't want nothing to do with him, uh, Elise Neal would become a, a hair hat hooligan, a black bitch, and all this other stuff 
that Tommy Sotomayor be talking about. But right now, not only Elise Neal, but I've seen videos and pictures of Tommy Sotomayor with other people who would be considered black bitches and ratchets and all this other stuff. But he's not talking about them. Why? Why? That's so fake. That's so fraud. That's that's hypocrisy. And all these shit eaters, all you Tommy leechers, why aren't you saying anything about it? The reason why you don't care if Tommy Sotomayor can stand next to Elise Neal and clearly she got weave in her head or she done color her hair blonde. She's not a blonde. Is because the woman has celebrity, she has a little fame, and she got money. So, there is bias. You're a black bitch, but if you're a black bitch with money, I ain't talking about you. If you're a black bitch and got weeds in your head, but you got money, I ain't talking about you. If you're a celebrity black bitch, and you will let me take a picture with you, because I'm lusting for celebrity myself. I want to be famous. I want to be like you. I want to be a good house nigga. Then you're not the kind of woman I'm talking about. This man has made a fool out of so many of you. It's pathetic. It's trifling. It's so tacky. Judge not. Least ye be judged. All over YouTube. Brothers and sisters make video showing the hypocrisy and the fraud of this man and there y'all are sniffing in his backside. Because you love how shit smells. Garbage feeders. Pork eaters. Some of y'all probably don't eat no pork but you're still nasty as hell. Who are you to judge? Who is Tommy Sotomayor to judge anybody? You live in a violent nation. The United States of America was not built on righteous behavior. It was built on slavery. It was built on rape, pedophilia, murder. Some of these people in America sleep with animals, bestiality. This nation is filled with people who are gender confused. I don't know if I'm a man. I don't know if I'm a woman. Maybe I'm both. Maybe I'm a mix. I don't know what it is. You expect righteous behaviors out of a nation who are a bunch of drunkards and dope fiends. Porn addicts. Americans are so drunk. They tried to make liquor against the law. And they just kept doing it. Still was getting drunk. So they decided to forget it. And make it legal again. The country of Mexico. Thousands of people. In Mexico die every year. Because the Mexicans. Are trying to feed. The dope fiends of America. But y'all worried about. Some weave. And these men are so pathetic. Who cares about a woman's weave? I guess the next thing y'all gonna trip off a woman's tampons, her mini pads, her birth control, them the wrong kind of birth control pills. I ain't never been around and never seen and heard men, supposed to be men, so pathetic and low life, but that is the type of men that this man, Tommy Soto Mayor, attracts. And he is that way because he's been hurt. He suffers from trauma. He's a piece of shit. And the shit is attracting flies. None of y'all can say and do nothing with me. I already know it. Because I clean up shit. I clean up trash. I'm a professional sanitation worker. Because... I already know that America is not the beautiful. I already know that America 
It's filthy. It's vile. It's nasty. It's trash. I don't pretend that America is beautiful and wonderful. But y'all, in your delusions, in your fantasy, this the greatest country on the planet. And then you talk about Africa and so-called third world nations. If you get in your car and just go drive a little bit, you will see places in America that look just as worse as anything in some third world nation. Some of these little towns don't even have decent drinking water in America. You don't even know your own country. You're filled with disease. They was just talking about a tick ep epidemic. When I was a little boy, and I, wanna, I want y'all to listen to me good. When I was a little boy, I played in the weeds. I played in the weeds. I would get kicked and fleas, take a bath, and that was the end of it. My dog go into the weeds, get ticks and fleas, and because I didn't give the dog a bath, the dog was filled with ticks and fleas because I did not give the dog a bath. But you have Caucasian people in this country running around, going into the forest, getting ticks and fleas all over them, and they're getting Lyme disease. All these diseases from, what do that tell you? You are a human being. You don't have a lot of body hair. How are you getting bit up by ticks and fleas? You can't feel that. That goes to show you how nasty and filthy some people are. You can't feel ticks and fleas crawling all over your body. You don't even have body hair. Dogs can feel ticks and fleas, but they can't get them off. Ordinary plain water can't kill ticks and fleas. So you have to give that dog a bath and some kind of soap. Filthy, nasty people. And you expect good things. What do you think? What do you think ratchet behavior comes from? Where do you think the thug mentality comes from? It comes from out of this society, this nation, that black people did not create. You and I, we are victims of the society. We are products of the society. Blacks, but you have an Oreo cookie mentality. All of us. It's the only life you know. It's the life you was born into. It's the life that you was taught in school. Everything beautiful in white land. Everything black is terrible. So if I'm going to talk about somebody, who should we talk about? Certainly not, not white Jesus. Certainly not pink Jesus. Ronald Reagan. Ron Paul. Let's talk about the black women. What about the black men? Well, I'm a man myself. I ain't going to talk about a man. Yeah, black men, we do the same exact thing, but I'm a man. I'm not going to talk about the men. Such a, such fools. Non-thinking, blind following, drunk, dope thing, porn addict, nutcases. Sad situation. Judge not. Least ye be judged. Huh. So now you have this Tommy Sotomayor. Here's a picture of him with a drink in his hand. Nothing but a drunk. He's a drunk. And he probably uses some kind of drugs also because he's suffering from some type of trauma. And when people suffer from some type of trauma, some type of abuse, they are attracted to drugs and alcohol. They also may exhibit excessive sex behavior because they are looking for something to drown out their hurt. That's why, and so when you listen to Tommy Sotomayor, he drowns out your personal pain, 
your own personal sorrow. He becomes your hero. There are some people who want to bring Tommy Sotomayor, this person who is a sick individual that suffered from trauma into the black conscious community. And he has associates that are known racist. And he says, coming from up out of his drunk mouth, I don't care as long as they pay me. So you can be David Duke. Tommy Sotomayor don't care. Just pay me. Judge not, least ye be judged. Here's a person who was found guilty of domestic abuse. That was a long time ago, I know. A man that was found guilty did not pay his child support. I know that was a long time ago. What made you change your ways, Tommy? Because somebody beat you up, called you some type of name? Why did you change your way? And how can you talk about somebody when you are drunk? You're a woman beater. You talk about your daughter, but you didn't give a damn, didn't pay child support. I don't know how many children you're supposed to have, but you didn't give a dang about your children. Well, it's too late for me <laughs> to stop using profanity. You didn't give a damn about your children. Now, all of a sudden, you become self-righteous. You still a drunk. You still a dope fiend. And you calling somebody else ratchet. You calling, you trying to compare yourself to somebody else's lifestyle like you doing something better. Look at all that other liquor on this picture behind you. You will drink all of it. Nothing but a drunkard. Educated idiot. You went to college. You claim. You went to college. And apparently you did not learn nothing. With all these four letter words that you use. If I went to college. How can I demonstrate myself. With all these little four letter words. You can't express yourself better than that. Go get your money back from that university, that college, wherever you went to. Because they failed. They failed you in life. So you seeking celebrity. You seeking fame. Not because you have talent. Because you have no talent. You trying to ride the hurt of other people. The pain of other people because you yourself are in pain. Cuss like a, a sailor. Always attacking people. I want you to attack me. You're not going to mess with me. Because if you, you know if you mess with me. Not only will I beat your ass verbally. But you will bring me to the attention of people. That need to hear this voice. And when they begin to hear this voice. It's going to take away from you. And you, and you know this. You know this. I can call you ratchet. All you suckers out there that can judge other people. I can call y'all ratchet. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't f commit fornication or adultery. I don't really do too much of nothing. So I can take myself righteous and put it over you. And call Tommy Sotomayor and all y'all suckers ratchets and hoods and thugs. Drunks, dope fiends and porn addicts. And I can tell you that and make videos about you. 24 hours a day. And maybe some racists will sponsor my videos for talking about all of you suckers. Not just black women that wear weave. Self-righteous behavior. And you are not righteous. You fall from righteous. You so righteous, you so good. And you really believe that beating people, name calling like you a child, is going to help somebody. And these people, you only going to talk about them behind their back. Because I dare any of you to go out in the street and approach a thug 
approach a woman about her weed and all this stuff y'all talking about, tell that stuff to them in their face. You know what you're going to get. The thug will put a bullet in your brain and the sister with the weed might put a bullet in your brain too if she don't hit you in the face with her high heel shoe. And that's a fact. <laughs> yeah. If you really was self-righteous, if you really had any type of righteous behavior in your in yourself, if you did not suffer from trauma, then instead of talking about somebody, trying to degrade somebody so that you can feel good about yourself, you will be reaching out your hands. You'll be reaching out to them in an effort to help, not hurt, to help, not hurt. But you cannot reach out to the person with the weave. You cannot reach out to the to the hat hat hooligan and the beastie and the ratchets and the thugs and the mama's boys and the manginas. All this stuff, y'all, corny stuff that y'all little children talk about. You cannot reach out to help them because you cannot help yourself. You are a victim of trauma yourself. You are a victim of abuse. You, you have hurt and pain in yourself. And you are attracted to Tommy Sotomayor, who is a piece of shit, because you are a piece of shit. You are the flies that buzz around the manure. And filth breeds filth. All of your nasty, vile, profane, hateful, disrespectful. But I want you to come here, because no matter how you come, I can deal with you. That's why you stay away. And that's why your masa, Tommy Sotomayor, that's why he's not going to mess with me. He's not going to mess with Afro Synergy. He's not going to mess with the master teachers. Because if he mess with us, y'all might wake up. And then if y'all wake up, you will leave him. And he will not be able to fulfill his desire. For fame and celebrity. Because he get paid. What's the sense of getting paid. When you lose your soul. What's the sense of being paid. And you a fool. What's the sense of being paid. You are Uncle Tommy. You still a nigga. Tell me Tommy Sotomayor. With all your getting paid. You and I both know. They still call you nigga. All these weak men, males, black males, you embarrass me, make me ashamed to be a man. You're so pathetic and weak. All oh, the women call us names. All oh, the women do this. You a woman? Why you want to copy somebody that's weak? Why you want to copy somebody that's emotional? Y'all just as, as emotional as the women. Just as weak. Just as pathetic. You a thug? And whatever, a ratchet, whatever, just like the people you're talking about, in a different way. And I'll show you. I don't even have to know you, and I can show you how pathetic that you are just by what you write. So your best bet is to stay silent, like Tommy Sotomayor. Real man. He come up with the concept of a real man tour. Tommy Sotomayor is not a real man. You can't even control your emotion. You can't even learn and don't want to heal yourself from your own personal trauma. What kind of real man are you? A real man based on what? You're a real man based on what, Tommy Sotomayor? You a real man. There is no black man in America. And there are many good black men. Don't get me wrong. But the black man, the descendants of slaves born in America. We have not produced real men. Because if we produce real men, there would be no Tommy Sotomayor. 
Tommy Sotomayor is a product of a racist. He's not a man. All these so-called men that you see running around, including myself, we are product of racism. Either we have accepted and try to learn how to live in the racism, or either we are fighting against the racism so that we can learn how to become our own man. Tommy Sotomayor, the health store, and all these other brothers that run around here talking about, I'm a real man. We going on a real man tour. What are you basing your manhood on? Because you got a job? Because you bought your child some shoes? You live in the house of racists. You, could, you are controlled by racists. You was made by racists. Your whole life is racism. You have no culture. Culture defines what manhood is. Society defines what manhood is. You did not come up out of a society or a culture that you created. You are manifesting manhood based on Racist society. And who is the man in the racist society? The man in the racist society is the Caucasian pink man. And does the Caucasian pink man love his woman? No. He does not like the white woman. He does not like the Caucasian woman. She's a breeder. She's a tool. Something to use to exploit. This Caucasian man has always hated women. He's a pedophile. He likes young boys. And these so-called real men, Tommy Sotomayor, he hates women. And you and those men that follow behind Tommy Sotomayor, they hate women. You can hear it. They try to Disguise it by saying not all women, not all women, but the majority. What do you mean by the majority? When did you meet the majority? You only met a few handful of women. You don't know nothing about the majority. That's why I never said all Caucasian people did this or that. There was a brother who was telling me about the white man do this, the Caucasian pink people, they do this and that. And he says all. Oh. I said, brother, prove to me all of them is guilty of what you're talking about. He couldn't do it. Even if you go back in history, there are many kinds of Caucasian people. In fact, I believe it's about 27 different uh, nations of Caucasian people. All of them, they might have benefit indirectly from the slave trade, but they were not directly involved. Just like some of y'all pro-black people, you got the Caucasian people money in your pocket. You ain't directly supporting the racist, but by using his money, by living in the United States, you are still indirectly supporting the racist. Judge not. <laughs> judge not. Least ye be judged. There's always somebody running around trying to judge somebody. Trying to show you a hypocrite. You fake. You this and that. Always watch the people talking about somebody else. Because I can guarantee you they're, they are the number one suspect. Something is wrong. Tommy Sotomayor suffers from personal trauma. And he attracts other sick people. That's the bottom line. Cheers to you, Tommy Sotomayor. In conclusion, I want to say that I do not hate, I don't dislike Tommy Sotomayor. 
Because I understand that he suffers from trauma. He has done nothing personally to me. But however, when you decide or any of y'all suckers decide you want to attack black women, y'all decide you want to attack black men. I'm not going to sit around and be silent and not challenge you because you sick. I feel sorry that you sick. I feel sorry that you suffer from some type of trauma, but that does not mean or give you the right to try to go out and kill somebody. Now, in law, you might be able to get away with that and you can plead insanity. But on YouTube, you're going to get your, your ass verbally kicked. It's as simple as that. It's simple as that. Man, I did not expect for this talk to last as long as it has. But really, I want you to think about this. Judge not, least ye be judged. If you can dish it out, Tommy Sotomayor, all y'all suckers that follow behind this man who suffers from trauma, if y'all can talk about people, if you can dish it out, then stop talking about don't watch the videos. Don't do no. If you can dish it out, then you should be able to take it. I can watch whatever I want to watch. These people can watch whatever they want to watch anytime they feel like it. You put it in the public. If you don't want people to talk about you, then make it private. The reason why you're upset is because you're wrong. You know that you're sick. You know you're mentally ill. But you find enjoyment in your sickness. You don't want any help. I am here to show you what is wrong and give you proper medicine. Brothers like Afri Synergy and so many of us who understand what has happened to us in these 400 years. We understand exactly what has happened to us. And if you want to know, sit back and let us show you. Or either continue to sit in the shit. Continue to take a bath in the urine and the manure. And see what that gets you. It's not going to take you very far. And whether Tommy Sotomayor like it or not, you're talking about people's mother. You're talking about us as a people. You're going to meet the wrong person. And they're going to show you that it's not a game. So either you're going to put up or shut up. It's very sad. It's very sad indeed. Judge not, least ye be judged. And with that said, thank you for listening. Again, I do not hate or dislike Tommy Sotomayor. He does not belong in the black conscious, black power community. Those who would want him in the black power conscious community, in my eyes, in my opinion, they want the money. They're seeking celebrity. They want to play in the shit because their eyes are twinkling. They want the money. Sellouts. And it's good that there is a Tommy Sotomayor. So we can see all the flies. And we can understand and see who is really who. You can't buy me. I can't be bought. I want our people liberated. I want us free in a land that we can call our own. And you will see all of this disappear because all these things that y'all complain about, that's not really us. But it is us as long as we live in the filth. Thank you for listening. This is your brother, Tali Gibbon Ra. This was and is the Realities Temple on Earth. I had to take a one last look at Elise. 